Hello, everybody. My name is Lionel Tate. My father, he named me that in 1991 in the remembrance of his brother who was sentenced to a life sentence in prison in 1979. In 2002, I was 11 years old. I became exposed to a gang lifestyle. I adapted to a gang mentality. Then I began to participate in gang activity. I formed a name of my own. My homies call me CWAC. Second nature is my gang banging. My main goal is to keep it active. Every day I'm flamed up. Red belt, red chucks. I'm looking for a come up. I'm looking for someone to take from or for someone to harm. My job is to rob and to steal. But all that was the old me. I no longer value the same principles and I no longer think the same. I adapted new goals. I now live productive, I'm positive and constructive. I'm a student at Los Angeles Trade Tech. I'm studying culinary arts. I'm aspiring to be a chef. I'm aspiring to be a chef and to one day own my own restaurant. But we all know we have to start from somewhere. So right now, I work at Denny's. <laughs> you know, we got the little Denny's, you know. I'm gonna tell you guys a story today about my day-to-day -day battle with employment by walking you through two scenarios of how I face challenges. My biggest challenge is my homies. Don't get me wrong, I love my homies. My heart to give them anything they ask me for, but as an employee, I'm not allowed to. So I can't stand them at the same time. <laughs> because they entitlement kills me. They feel because this is the set, I'm the homie, they should automatically get stuff for free. <laughs> or if they do have to pay, they expect a 75% off <laughs> homie discount or something. <laughs> Tell you about the homies. Scenario number one, my homies walk in. Hey, what's up, bro? What's bracken? What's bracken, bro? I greet them and then I seat them. Instantly, my friend disturbing me. Give me some orange juice, pronto. I'm like, all right, for sure, bro. It's all I love, you know? I got you. My other friend, he in my ear, whispering to me, trying to be low key, telling me to hook him up with a sampler. Let him get some free chicken strips. So now I have to tell him, my name not Denny's. I can't give you nothing for free. <laughs> he tell me how I'm the company man and I'm going against the homies for Denny's. <laughs> but whatever, he understand the point that I'm not giving him nothing for free. I served him up, now I'm off, I'm assisting another table. Now you won't believe what these boys did. <laughs> They told me bye, but they walked right past the register without paying their bill. They dined and ditched. So of course, management have something to say about this. So I'm being called to my manager's office. Now real quick on my manager though. He's a fellow black man, but he grew up in the suburbs. So he walk a little different, you know? He, he, he talk a little different, but he act hella different than myself and the other black folks that I'm used to being around. Picture Carlton Banks from the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air <laughs> and Uncle Ruckus from the Boondock Show coming together, having a baby, creating this guy named Kenny. Very uptight brother, just by the book, supposedly. Lionel, your friends walked out on their bill and you're responsible to pay it. Hold on, what? My friends? What makes you think that they're my friends? Well, we have you on camera, shaking all of their hands and them being happy to see you when they see you. On camera? <laughs> 
say? Yes, like, no, you're on camera. Kenny. Kenny. <laughs> Kenny. Man, I don't know them guys. Them guys are valued members of the community. They are repeat customers. I provided them good service before. They were just happy to see me so they can get more good service. <laughs> I'm not responsible for that walkout. I can't pay that bill. Luckily, we get over it. We got a button called Walkout. We're on Crenshaw, so walkouts are common. He rings it up as a walkout. We get over it. Now, I remain employed. Now, scenario number two is a lot more grim. <laughs> I'm still at Denny's. This is a Saturday night, like two in the morning. I'm having a good night so far. I'm providing good services. People liking me. I'm getting tips. When a group of guys walk in, now this group of guys is who I will identify as rival gang members or enemies to the person that I once was. But I grew a little bit in my senses, so I understand the fact that we all black men and you're not my enemy. But one of the guys I recognize from an altercation about three years prior on the street. He recognizes me. But I'm at work, I'm in work mode, so I'm working. I greet them. Hey, welcome to Denny's. I seat them, table for five, right this way. Instantly, the one that recognizes me with a disgusted face tell me like, cuz, get me some water. Now, this term cuz is disrespectful in itself when it's being referred to me, but I remain peaceful. All right, no problem. Would anybody else like anything to drink? They all agree on water. So I'll go, I'll get them their waters. I'm getting them their waters. I hear them talking amongst each other. I only can imagine what they're saying. As I come back, placing each water in front of each individual, is when another one starts. Cuz, don't I know you from somewhere? Tell him, like, maybe you, feel me? you came to Denny's before. <laughs> <laughs> don't play with me, cuz. Where you from? Then I tell him, it don't matter where I'm from. I'm here as your server. What can I get for you? He turns up. He starts to explode and bang on me. Cuz it's neighborhood crib. Fuck where you from. I'm like, okay. Take a step back. He started knocking down their waters. Create a big scene. Tables us around us start moving away from the commotion. Now I'm in a place where I'm stuck. I'm stuck because I'm thinking about my job. I'm thinking about this job supported me and supported my well beings I'm also thinking about how far I came mentally and not want to convert back to that negativity. But most of all, my pride is being tested. These guys is in my area, disrespecting me, making me feel like I'm a mark. I ain't no mark. Lord knows I ain't no mark. So now I'm confused. I'm furious and embarrassed. <sighs> I got a woosah, I gotta go to the back. My manager, he comes in the middle, asks if there any problem. They lie to him on how I'm not providing good service, I'm disrespectful, make up some. My manager told me to exit the floor. When he told me to exit the floor, I see my security guards walking these guys off. I'm in the back, trying to come down. I'm mad, I'm steaming. <sighs> For weeks, I had anxiety about coming back on the floor, about even dealing with people anymore. So, Time progresses itself, opportunity progresses itself, 
I no longer have to deal with neither scenario. I've been promoted. I'm still at Denny's. But now I'm in the kitchen. I'm the cook. Feel me? You know, now I'm the cook. I'm away from both confrontations, homies and negativity, and I'm one step closer to where I really want to be. My name is Lionel Tate. Thank you all for being here.